good kick down towards the half forward line. Hockridge, number five, from behind the pack, taken off cleverly there by Bergen. Bergen looking for Greenslade. Greenslade couldn't take it on the first bounce. Ducking his head and going through towards the ground. Bergen again, straightens up, shoots, a goal will win it. He's missed the game. And Sturt go to 11-13. Vanille, 9-10. Two goals, three the difference. And this move of Bergen, the centre half forward, and Friedrichs out to the half forward flank has definitely paid off. Bergen's been in everything. He's beaten Moss. There's no doubt about that. Rigney in trouble. Looks as though he could be coming off. Moving for Rigney, I would say. Caldwell brings the ball back into play. It's fallen short, but Hockridge is there. He's at the reach of the centre half back. Hockridge is shooting out on. towards the wing with a long kick. Noonan's on, up towards centre wing. Schoff got tagged back, but he plays on through there strongly, through to centre half forward, kicks it down to the forward pocket, and Caldwell is marked safely on his chest. He realises time is against the bays, plays it on quickly out to the half back line, finds Laurie Rosewarn, goes for the short one, up towards Ainsbury. Ainsbury's got it, looks for Rosewarn going past. Beautiful football, drives towards centre wing. Blanketed there by number eight, Bagshaw, taken by Ottens. Ottens swings it back to the half forward line, and Ainsbury again. Ainsbury doing everything. Oh, it was a kick out on the full. Here's Ainsbury's kick up towards centre wing. The Bays need a goal. They're at centre wing at the moment. Comes to Marker. Marker's on one leg. Tackled as he goes to the ground. An umpire ducker has will come in and bounce. Getting on to the 23-minute mark. We'll have the grand final side for you tomorrow at 12 noon on Channel 9. Comes to Shearman. Shearman with a handball. Trying to find the Bagshaw on that check side. Couldn't get the hand pass away effectively. Rooks and a muddied component, uh, component there, lock arms. It was Peter Mark. A brilliant first half, but he's been on one leg since midway through the third term. Tap down, taken by Voigt. Kicks it towards centre half forward. Knocked away by Sandman. Good football there by Adcock. Kept that in. Sandman trying to pick it up now. Shot behind him. Lane. Knocks it on. Phyllis has got the chance in the forward pocket. Good bump there by Rickshaw. Knocks it back. Gives it to Adcock. Adcock kicks it up to the centre of the ground. Mark Peter by Bagshaw, and he'll take all of the time in the world as well he should, just back with his centre. About a minute away from time on. 64 points to 79. Here's his kick to the half forward line. Punch down in front. Rawson take a dive at the ball. Noonan, doesn't he love it? Gets his nose over the ball and you can't shift him. He's only been on for about a minute and already he's smothered in mud. The tiny little rover who's given Sturt some tremendous football this year gets up. There's Noonan, heads out of the pack, number 25, former Port Curry player, gets it up to Rosewall, hand pass across to Marker, Marker's tackled, taken here by Bergen, Bergen from the centre of the ground, looks for Guernsey, punched away from Endersby at the last moment, comes out to Miles, Miles back towards Endersby, Endersby comes over the top of Chris Hunt, he's got the ball now, Hunt tackles him, goes to the ground, picked up here at Bergen, Bergen with a handball away, play on says umpire Duck, Marker will put them back into attack again. Marker on the right centre wing, you'll go down the straight down towards centre half forward in the area of Sandland, knocked away by Bagshaw, well done, coming off now is uh, Miles going on as Joe, up towards the left half forward flank in the area of Rexy Boyd, he's got a teammate there in Crab, he knocks it back well in the area of Pattinson, Pattinson goes for the hand pass, then decides to kick up the way of Freddie Phyllis, Fred Phyllis comes down in towards the pocket, nowhere to go but ducks around now, he's got the opportunity, ran a good 10 yards, goes straight across the face of goals, out there of Sandland, the ball's still in play, Sandland's got Corns there, if he can get it over to him, skips out, out the way of Bagshaw and Corns, Corns runs into Bagshaw, Bagshaw can, retains his balance, brilliant work, the brilliant Bagshaw, gets a hand pass out to Chessel, oh he's really magic Bagshaw as he sends it out towards the left centre wing, that was Chessel, out there there at Rosebourne, Raymond picks up, hand passes back towards his teammate there in Endersby, Endersby's played a magnificent game, goes forward out towards his teammate there in Wild. Hockbridge arrives at the ball first. You can take it for mine that Sturt have certainly won this game. Torrid performance. They'd have to get three goals, Glenelg, and they'd have to do it in about the same amount of minutes. Bergen kicks. Greenslade's got the chance. Picks up. He's pounced upon by a pack of players. He's still there. It was Tilbrook. Tilbrook kicked it off the ground, and it's a goal. Magnificent performance there by Tilbrook. Third goal by Simon Jim Tilbrook in the last quarter. And that's certainly it. Molly May. No doubt about it. 12, 13, 13, 9, 10 for now. But that's the end of it. Tilbrook, you don't see until the last quarter. And then he kicks three goals. One of the reasons that Sturt are there. Thanks for a magnificent game. Hendersby, Brittany and Greenslade with six goals. All have played well. Bob Shearman in the second half come to life. The last quarter's been a beauty. Goal umpire being pelted with everything down that end. I think a lot of people thought that the ball hit the post. Hockridge gets a tap and across there and there goes 